Hello developers, a quick question. When you have a yandard log file, do you ignore the yandard log file or package log json file or pnpm log file in your git ignore? Do you do that? Some developers say yes because it causes much conflict or your code repo become bloated. Not really. Those are really not the true reasons. These log files are like your app's time machine. They freeze your dependency tree so that you, your team member, your CI server, even the future you all run the same code. And as you all run the same code, your end customers see the thing that they are supposed to see. What do you do about other source code files? Whenever you make some changes, you push it to your remote repository so that your friend can pull and can do their work. Same thing applies to the log file as well. Without doing that, you are gambling my friend. You might install a different version of libraries every time even if the package.json looks exactly same. The most often in the package.json file, the library versions won't be hard-coded or fixed to a version. Do you see characters like this? These are the ones responsible for not making the version of your library or the dependencies fixed to a particular version. So it means if you're not checking in the log files, every time the log file gets generated, there is a possibility that a new version of the library or a new version of a transitive dependency library might get in. And those things may not be tested locally by you or your friend and it might break in production as well. With log files, your builds are predictable, secure, audit friendly and of course faster to install because things are cached. But if you're still thinking of ignoring it inside your .git ignore file, let me tell you, resolving a merge conflict is the easy cake if you know how to do it. Check out the description of this video and identify how can you resolve merge conflict so easily. Don't be scared of resolving merge conflict. But if there are certain things happen in your production because of any library version change that went unnoticed, I think you will have more tough time. So remember, whether it's a package log.json file or yarn log file or pnpm yml file, please please commit them all and push them all so that life become easy. I hope you find it useful. Feel free to like, comment on this video. Feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to tag that friend who still thinks these log files are optional to commit and push. See you again with another tips.